Hey, everybody, and welcome to Merch Talk. How's it going? Hey, everybody, Merch Talk. Late afternoon thing, Bob. And a day early. Whenever. We we made it when we made it. <laughs> Over there. That's right. How's it going, everybody? Good. It's kind of it's kind of weird doing it like kind of midday. It feels weird. Yeah. Because for you, it's... What time is it normally for you? One. Yeah, it's one o'clock right now. Okay. Yeah, for me, it's three. So, yeah, whatever. Well, welcome, everyone, to Merch Talk. <laughs> Yes. Midday edition. That's right. Right. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, Jeff has got tin foil on his head. Do you have a new theory for us? I have no new theories. It's the same old. Amazon's against me. Amazon hates me. They're hiding my listings. They're turning me off. They're. <laughs> I'm just seeing that in the. I'm. I'm seeing it all over the threads lately in the press few weeks. In fact, somebody, I'm not going to name his name, I never would have th thought he would post something like that, and he posted it. I have no sales today. So, I'm sorry you guys have no sales. But I've had some sales fault. today, a couple of them. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> let's do numbers. How about that? How about that? Yeah. Numbers for March. How did your overall March go, and how's it been so far in April? <laughs> What? Everything is awesome. Oh, whatever. April, I did 224 <laughs> shirts. New world record. Really? That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I know you're being sarcastic, but. <laughs> no, I, I am. I really, I really am happy for you. I How about you? So far this month. Um, I did all right. I think, I think I sold about 200 shirts last month on uh, merch and sold. A pretty good amount of units, maybe like 30 orders with Printful last month. That's great. Yeah. It just made me wonder though, like what, because my say, mine are, I had 162 shirts sell last month. So it makes me wonder, like, you know, if they do see the activity, I don't know. You never know with the algorithms and all that. I don't know. But yeah, my sales have not gone that high. I haven't been uploading a ton. It's been busy. There, I would say the majority of the people I've seen online talking about um, the sales for March was that for the most part, a lot of people were in a slow session for March. Yeah. Well, I'm ready for something to pick up. I put my eBay and Etsy stores on vacation, so I can do a little more uploading on shirts. I'll have a little, maybe, time to do that. Right. We'll it's see. crazy. Life's life's crazy right now for for a lot of people. Bananas. Yeah. yeah. So, but this month it's really dropped. So, <laughs> it went you know from me having let's see um, six seven sales a day to like starting January. I mean uh, March first, like one sale, and then the last two days have been two sales, two sales. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. Honestly, though, I, I feel I'm in a bad mood. Not a bad mood. I'm just in a low mood. So apologies if I'm not my normal, like, I'm so happy I got anything. Thank goodness, you know. Yeah, that's definitely a way to be is, you know, not every month, not every day is going to be stellar. You just got to kind of push through what's going on and just try to stay as positive as possible. I know that's pretty hard, you know, like, and, you know, when especially external forces in our lives are, are really putting a, kind of the brakes on our businesses. Yeah, I just, and I, honestly, I am, because I, uh, I haven't been doing anything. And for me to not do anything and make money is, I have nothing to complain about. So just. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So just, I'll just sit and quiet. Y'all take over. You just tell that <laughs> when things are down, stop looking. What's the right way to say this? Stop looking for excuses and to blame Amazon. And I'm not putting this on anybody. Look for ways how you can improve. How can you make things better? Because you have no influence over what Amazon does or what market forces do or what Bob's doing in Vermont. You know, you can't make him buy your shirt. So you got to brainstorm and figure out how you're going to grow without Without Amazon, I mean, 
Yeah, that's true. I mean, diversity is key. I think that's one of the major things I've learned over the 30 years of reselling is you can't just put all your eggs in one basket. I mean, there's a lot of people in merch that this is all they do and, but they scale and all that stuff. But what I'm saying is for me, you know, I even get bored of merch from time to time where I'm just like, Ugh, I don't want to deal with this. So, you know, for me, my personality is I, I have a ton of hobbies in my life and I just try to diversify as much as possible. I'm on Poshmark, you know, I'm doing all kinds of stuff with Printful, all the Bitcoin things and just there's a lot of things that keep me busy. And so, you know, diversifying definitely is something that I suggest people to, to do. I know it's very hard, you know, to jump from Printful to Redbubble to all this kind of stuff. So there's definitely that. I was just talking to somebody. I just sent a message to her. We were chatting this morning because she's on the road RVing. That's how she lives. And she's getting very frustrated because um, merch is not gangbusters for her. She's not selling much, but she has all these designs. And um, she's trying, and she does other things like uh, creative space, which is Amazon for books and stuff, and art on Etsy. And I, I'm trying to tell her that. You know, you may not, you don't have to spend, like Chris said, don't focus narrowly on just merch until it drives you nuts because when sales are down, you're going to go nuts. You got to maybe spend an hour on merch and then go spend an, an hour on Etsy or. Yeah, because then you feel like you're wasting, you're spending all this time and making nothing. Right. You so spread yourself around a little bit, you know, do other pods, do yeah. other streams. This is true because I mean, and, that, and that's kind of what happened when things started slowing down for me is I, because I had been putting so much in merch and when things started slowing down, I did feel that way. Like I'm putting in like eight hours a day and I'm making 10 sales, which, you know, was driving me bananas because it was way better for a while there. But then it just, like you said, just, you know, it's going to do what it's going to do. So. Yeah. yeah you, you don't know if you're going to hit the magic you know, um, Amazon roulette wheel that day where some people have like 30 sales and some people have one sale and they start messing with the algorithms and things like that. So that's another reason why I diversify because there's some of those days where there's no sales coming in and it's, it drives me crazy. And there's some of those days that just go off the hook. So there's, there's, there's that. So stay positive everyone out there. Or yeah. not, whatever. For or not, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm teasing. Yeah. I basically got one shirt that is doing very, very well. If it wasn't for that one shirt, I would not have broken my record last month. It, it accounted for almost a quarter of my sales last month. So, Thanks you, for reminding me. What would what, what I remind you of? Well, because on my, 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 my Patreon, I share it's past the first. So uh, certain levels, they I tell them what my top selling shirt was and like talk about my design and why, you know, keywords and stuff. So I was like, ooh, what was it? What? I ain't just saying nothing. Huh? I ain't saying nothing. Well, I talk, I'm just saying that's what I'm. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> My second most popular shirt last month, I forgot to change the uh, price on. I don't think I told you guys about that. So, like 11 of them <laughs> yeah. at like 75 <laughs> cent profit. <or> <laughs> I've been doing the Chris method. What's that? I'll wait till they sell and then change them. Sell and then I'll up them and then I'll make sure there's all styles up. And Yeah, well, see, that's what I was doing. Like when I would notice it, it would, you know, if there was one that sold, then I would up the price. Well, it was like 11 at one time. <laughs> so it's too late. Too bad. So sad. Yeah, that's been working for me. There's also been a couple ones where I, I try to fix the price and then they got caught up in a copyright takedown or something like that. So it was something that might have changed in the months that you know i had them up so there's that too so just be warned when you when you change it you have the possibility of uh getting a takedown from yeah. doing that we got some friends live in the chat 51 viewers hi everybody i'm sorry we haven't said hi in the chat yet max bobcat was first hey hey crystal cheek cheek max bobcat said he just found out his wife's pregnant with twins Yay, twins. Congratulations. <laughs> That's amazing. Randy's a twin. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Do they like identical? Yeah. Well, now you can tell them apart. When they were kids, you can you couldn't tell them apart. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not a twin because I'm very diabolical. We would have done really messed up things to people. 
I think they did. They, I think they did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Oh, so, so that merch lister pro. I broke down, and after talking to the guy, what's his name? Um, I can't remember his name now. But his yeah, name. what was that? Something King, Johnny King. Mm -hmm. I talked to him, got my questions answered. My main concern was, uh, where is all the info stored at? I didn't want my info stored on someone else's server, and it's all stored on your computer. And I had assurance that it's not a, a, a bulk uploading script, which after looking at it, and it's not. So I went ahead and made the purchase. Haven't figured out how to use it yet, but I'm going to. I love it. There's a link down below if you guys are interested, because they're going to be switching over to monthly. But if already you, did. Huh? They already did. Did they really? Yeah, the first. It's now full price. Or wow. A subscription based now. Hey, Joe. Hey, what's up? Nothing. You're late. <laughs> I was busy doing something. I, I, I was listening to y'all while I was. Uh, I had to do some crap around here, so I was like, oh, I better listen to it. We'll see what they're talking about. So. Am I? <laughs> <clears throat> Told you guys we shouldn't be talking about him. We didn't, exactly. didn't we talk about him? I don't know. Okay, down. <laughs> we were waiting for Mango. Mango's on the thumbnail this week. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I don't know. I'm going to talk to the company and see if I can use that. Yeah, I told you it would make a great like merch talk shirt. Just that image alone is great. I yeah. would love it. I would wear it. Joe, yeah, see if I can. So, get this. How are your numbers, man? This for March. Um, I had about a hundred sales, and I and so it's actually way better than it was last month, and actually the best month so far this year. So, yeah, so they're improving. I'm thinking this month I'm going to sell over two hundred shirts. So, yeah, that's great. Yeah, I want. <clears throat> Go ahead, Jeff. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just looking at Jane. Jay talk about the merch lister and I said I got to figure out how to import my spreadsheet because I have a spreadsheet of all my t-shirts with the descriptions and bullets. Ooh, is that a new feature? He says if I can, I'll probably have to copy it and then get rid of some columns that I don't need so it matches his. So yeah, it, you can import a CSV file of all your titles, bullets, and description. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I really like it a lot, especially bulk. You know, multiple. Yeah. yeah, there's a there's a lot of people using the third party apps, and that's great. You know, I, it's not for me, and we've talked about this a million times before. But people are having really good experiences with them, and you know, I haven't heard anything negative from them. So just keep doing what you're doing, guys. I'm kind of on your boat. You know, I'm cautious and careful. Try to be careful about what I use, and that's why I wouldn't use that until I talked to him and was assured. Because nowhere in his literature does it say where is the data kept, so I want to know where my data was going. Right. Thing. And another plug-in, uh, I'm sure you guys all heard that Pretty Merch now has a pro version, and I missed out on the uh, special. I woke up and it was already gone. Darn. So I haven't downloaded it yet for the ten dollars a month. Anybody yeah. here have? It. Or refresh it, whatever for the pro. Did you uh, sign up for Pro? Yeah, you but like I haven't it? updated it yet. So oh. I like the what? feature that says, and and when they have the auto login, that will make it worth it. I think. What does the Pro do? Gives you a lot more analytical data, historical data of all the shirts, the types, and nothing you can't download via spreadsheet once a month, but it gives you more instant access to all that data and analyzes it for you so you can see it there like you do now. Makes it all oh, pretty. Yeah. <clears throat> and they're supposed to come out not in this version, the next version gonna have the auto auto login. So when Amazon logs you out, it will automatically log you back in so you can just have it in the background cha ching in a way. Well that's cool. Yeah, I would have jumped at it up for the six dollars, but the nine dollars I'm gonna wait a little bit. I'm going to email them, see if I can get a special rate if I do a review. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Who, who you know, know? Those are free. That's what I, That's my motto. Who's, What's your the motto? Creator? Who's the creator of that? Do we know Do we know him? Um, he's not in the United States. I know that. I'm pretty sure of that. 
the way he said how everyone in America woke up and the deal was already gone. So, well, yeah, I mean, what was but I want to try. What was your motto, Mark? I didn't hear that. Nose are free. Nose are free. Nose are free. Oh, okay. <laughs> Harry. Harry P. Uh, Crystal Chick in chat. Well, that's a mouthful. Is saying, is saying <laughs> are you guys selling new designs or older ones? I'm selling mostly older ones. My my evergreen is pretty much my business model. I don't do trends and that often or holiday stuff. A lot of my stuff is evergreen for sure. But I agree. A lot of my sales have been older older designs that have been up for like a year or so. A mm -hmm. lot of them. I wish it told us the date, like when they when we posted these, like on the when you go to like analyze or whatever, but it doesn't. So. Oh, but when would, it was uploaded. Yeah. Yeah. When you go to the listing, it does. No, no, I know that, but I mean. So. Wait, 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 wait! None of these fancy third party apps do, does that for you. I don't, I have pretty, no idea. Pretty much does. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure they one of them do that. Take note. They will. <laughs> they will now. Yeah. I actually sold a lot of shirts I've made this year, so. That'd be okay. That's good. Hey, you know what? Let's uh let's dive into that for a second, Joe, because I was I was contemplating this earlier today about uh since uh you've you've been doing this full time. How's that how's that been going, man? You want to tell us a little bit about like the maybe the ups and downs and how how the journey's been so far since you've been doing this full time now? Uh the journey's been good. You have to like uh I mean, you have to do merch, of course. And you have to do your uploading and stuff daily. But um, there's, I've been, I've been doing a lot of other stuff. I've been like coaching people, so I have that that Patreon, and um, I also been trying to think of uh, different ways how I can. Um, uh, also, also, I have I'm selling designs now, and I I actually was gonna. I've always sold designs, but I've never had a website, and so I decided to open that, and so. Um, I have my design website, so I'm selling designs too, and I'm also uh, trying to create information and help people out. So there's like a lot of things that I'm doing, and I'm also doing. Uh, I've been making some money on Teespring, you know, just like a little bit, but yeah, that, yeah. it's going pretty good. Yeah. You offer refunds <clears throat> on where? My shirt design hasn't sold yet. What? <laughs> <laughs> Buyer beware, <laughs> man! I've i probably I've I've paid for lots of designs and some yeah. some sell and some don't. You know? No, but, no, 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 Jojo. Let's back this up, man. As a seller of designs, you have yeah. to say you got to put it on the other person. So you got to be like, no, your <laughs> keywords and titles are probably yeah. not messed up. Maybe you should yeah. take, a, take a look into that. Never, that's why, never that's why I don't give fault. Them. As a yeah, as that's a why I don't owner. give them keywords. That's why I don't give them the keywords. <laughs> I feel like it's your fault. So how does your wife feel? So far about what about you working from home and doing this she she loves it she thinks it's awesome she, she's hope, hopefully i you know i can grow it's gonna grow you know it's only been what two months so like i feel like i'm doing great but i'm, I'm i feel like i'm just beginning you know so it's, it's growing it's growing and it's making income but it needs to grow more you know and i think it will but it just feels like i'm just now starting a business so, so when are you gonna hit the thrift store and start reselling I still do that too. I still do that also. Okay. I, I mean, I, I also do a lot of stuff because um, at my last job, I was a video communications director or just a communications director. And um, I, I actually do a, did a lot of stuff anyways. I've actually DJed for a company for like a college fair uh, last week. I, uh, since I do video editing anyways, I've, uh, people have hired me to be a freelance and uh, make some projects for them. So like I'm doing that also. So. <laughs> Good. Yeah, so there's a lot of things that I can do. So that that sounds like you're also in good spirits, man. I can hear, I can pick that pick that vibe up for you, man. That you're actually like in good spirits. Your energy is good, so so that's good, man. Yeah, I'm actually excited. You know, I actually, you know, get up really early, about six. Actually, uh, you know, my wife leaves us for work for six a.m. So like, I'm up working like at six a.m. Soon she's leaving. So damn, just yeah, working all day. You know, here's the thing. Know. <laughs> it's like there's there's two people in this world. There's people when they, you know, their job situation changes, they either get depressed and they and they kind of sink into this hole, or you realize that this is just part of our journey. If you believe in fate and all that stuff, is sometimes bad things that happen to you over time turn into 
good things and you don't realize it at the time it's like hindsight's 2020 so you know it's good that you have a positive attitude and you're trying to uh take this opportunity to grow your business reach out try other things and you're being positive and that's definitely uh, i'm noticing and changing you man you, you you're looking good dude you're sounding good and i'm really i'm really happy for you man oh thank you man yeah i i'm having a great time man i'm, I'm actually enjoying it so uh it's just it's just fun just getting to do getting to do what you want and actually you know i, I don't think i've ever would have uh you know there's, there's just a situation at work i don't think i would ever would have just said oh quit i'm done with my job and i'm going to merge i don't know if i've ever would have done that but just because right. of the circumstances that happened i'm like hey man i'm, I'm all for it man like hey I, I you know i see you guys are y'all work i mean i know you have a job and stuff but i know margaret and um you know jeff you know they're just full time and i'm like man i wish i could do that one day so now here's my opportunity and so i'm going full force in it and so right yeah. we have to we have to talk about the christian rhapsody <laughs> yeah go for it definitely no what do you mean me you you're the one <laughs> oh, that, me? that showed oh, yeah, everyone yeah. oh, oh yeah here, here's it. okay i'm gonna i'm gonna be raw i'm gonna be very very raw right now i know so when <laughs> i first saw your link i'm like oh my oh my god this is i don't know i i, I was thinking bad things like this this can't be good and i'm sorry joe I love you, man. <laughs> I will say that that those songs are really, really, really good. And it made me like say like the whole thing, like don't judge a book by its cover. You didn't because... know German rap? No. <laughs> and it was they're, oh. good, they're good songs too. Yeah. 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 Rap. yeah. yeah. I forgot when it was I posted my C D on uh Merch University and actually and it, it was through it's on Reverb Nation. It's like a you know, anybody could post songs on there. And so I was getting like um like maybe the next day, I was getting emails from Reverb and says, Your your uh, your songs are trending on Nation and I guess because everybody was listening to them, so it was pretty cool. Yay, that's exciting, Joe. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. So I, d I definitely think, you know, like you were saying, especially if you're wanting to do this full time, is to diversify it. It would be, you know, you, we were talking about you not, you know, taking this opportunity since you had a layoff. Um, <clears throat> so if people are wanting to do this, then that's. And I, and I tell yeah. my boys all the time, while, while we could probably make it if I hustle a little bit harder, like on my income, you know, we, mine luckily is not our full time. You know, my husband's income is what we generally live on, and what I make is for all the extras and stuff. So, yeah, exactly, which makes it nice. Yeah, but uh, uh yeah, that's exactly so. so hopefully, I'm gonna make eventually more and more. And I'm, I can see actually, I can see merch growing already, and I'm about to probably pretty soon. So, I'm excited about that. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's good, you know. you. Like you say, you diversify. You got a little bit of this. You got a lot of different income streams coming in, and that's that's the way to do it. Yep. Actually, on the rap thing, I'll I'll kind of just start with that. I've been rapping probably since I was about uh, eighteen. I'm forty now, so I've been rapping for a while. But uh, yeah, I decided to put an album out like in two thousand nine, and um, yeah, I I still get invited to go rap at different events and stuff. So if people ask me, I'll go and stuff. So. Yeah, but I have I have a lot more songs in that album. I just uh, that's just wanted to put that out a while back. But yeah, I enjoy it. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff I do. I like DJ, you know, I can do all this video editing, and go filming and stuff. So I get you know get paid to go do all that stuff. And yeah, you know, I can make jewelry. I get, can do all I can do all <laughs> kinds of stuff, man. I mean, like there's like tons of stuff that I do, but you know, I just don't tell. He's people he's all, I'm a lion trainer and I'm an undersea uh, welder, <laughs> underwater welder. <laughs> there's like so much. Yeah, I just, yeah, um, resolutions yeah. and getting <clears throat> diaphragms, whatever. Yeah, so it's it's fun. It's fun. Actually, it's fun just when I was full, working full time. You know, it's just fun to go. Hey, I got to go rap this weekend, or I'm going to go DJ this weekend, or I'm going to go do this, or I'm going to do that. So, lots of stuff you can do. And have fun. So, that's great. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, today. Says, How in the world is Joe forty? I know. I was just thinking that too. It's like forty. Out of what? Out of 40? He has no children. That's how. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep. Well, cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be I'm gonna be perfectly honest with everyone here. I haven't really been feeling, 
kind of doing my merch stuff the last month. I've been uploading here and there and stuff, but I really haven't, I haven't been pushing it. I've been, I've been really bad. My mind has been in other places and the, the diversify the diversification, while wow, that's a big word, basically is pulling me away from, from the merch. So I'm um, definitely, um, the only thing I, I've noticed that's been on the radar is this merch dojo thing. And uh, people have been talking about that. And for me, I haven't looked into that. Do you guys know what, what that's all about? I think Yang was talking about it, but I haven't really looked into it, but it's been on the radar. There's been a lot of people talking about it. Two words, Chris Kreen. Oh, is it something that he's like some kind of thing that he's doing? Yeah. And I won't say anything else about it. <laughs> uh, okay. Cause I, I was, I was seeing like, yeah, I was seeing there was like some controversy, but I didn't know, like I said, I've been so out of the, 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 the loop that I don't know what's going on with that stuff. What it is, it's his program that um, he started working with, I think, uh, Ken Rill and Mike Gual and Neil Lassen. And just, you know, they have, I think Mike Gual, he was the, he's the guy who um, started taking his merch to, to biz, local businesses. And, you know, he has over like a, only like 100 or 200 listings. And he's uh, profited in royalties over a million dollars doing that so yeah we've talked about that game plan before that's a really yeah. solid game so plan. you know and actually some people are that are that are outgoing you can go talk to people and go to businesses and have no problem i think doing merch that way can profit them you know i mean so i mean i actually uh was i went to um chick-fil-a the other day and i actually know the man the the owner of that business and he happened to be there and it was, i was talking to him and i was asking him i go hey where, where do you guys get your shirts made or and he's like well we get him we have a corporate website and stuff. He's like, but we also will uh, make search just for, you know, Shawnee where, where, where I live and, and we'll give them to our employees. So, I mean, you, you could go out and talk to people and make it. And I could see how, you know, um, that could grow. Um, so, yeah. yeah. yeah I'll be I some homeschool, like a homeschool mom shared a shirt that she saw somewhere like, isn't this cool? You know, and it was, you know, personalized and it, this was in the homeschool group. So I was like, you know, if you're interested, I can make you something like that and just change the name out for you. So it's, you just have to look for those opportunities. Yeah, yeah. I would say going to a major corporation like Chick-fil-A, that's going to be few and far between that they're actually going to roll over as far as like trying to get that. It's like, that's the odds are crazy because corporate's pretty, pretty much corporate. So like going to mom and pops are definitely the way to go. Um, the ones that I've been successful for were, would have been like school events, uh, church functions, camps, local things like that have been successful for me when reaching out to go ask others in the community if they want shirts. That's been very successful for me. What I just did this week, um, got a little late in the season, my daughter is in Color Guard. She might be listening right now, but um, I put it out on the Color Guard Facebook post, you know, who'd be interested in shirts for parents and for kids. And some chimed up, so I made a bunch of shirts, made some leggings and crop tops, and threw them on a page on my website. You know, I I wouldn't myself go through merch that way because you're kind of beholden to Amazon and their limitations. But with Printful and my website, I was able to provide them with all different styles, all different colors, and I only put it a couple bucks above cost because it's, you know, my daughter's team. You know, it'd be kind of supportive there. But I've already got quite a few purchases made. I need to expand to the other teams now. Yeah, that's the way to go. I think I think it's possible to get out there and do that. You just have to, you know, go. I actually even thought of that. We have like a local paper um, or little magazine. I actually thought of putting an ad in there just to see what would what would ha what would become of it. So maybe I'll try that. We'll see what happens. Good idea. And even on like a Facebook Marketplace, just. Because I put shirts, but you could put an ad on there to say, you know, shirts made or whatever. Yeah, I thought about wearing or making a shirt and then on the back putting like, hey, I make shirts or whatever, you know. So. <laughs> Do you think with any high school, there's a couple dozen teams plus, uh, you know, clubs and stuff. And I don't know how do you actually get in there unless you have a kid in the school. But that's an <laughs> opportunity. Yeah, you don't want to go uh, hanging out around elementary schools and high schools. Girl, these days. One teacher. <laughs> I mean, even our our local Walmart. I was in there the other day, and they have shirts with our the name of our town in it. You know, I'm just like, oh, you know, maybe I could make a shirt for that or whatever. So, I mean, actually, there's a lot of uh, you know, I'm part of like the local high school alumni group, and 
you know, there's actually a lot of community groups that I'm a part of anyways and stuff. So, hey, you know, you could sell to them. Put to, you don't even have to sell to them. You could just put your links on there, you know, and, you know, some people probably and probably know who you are just from being in the community and stuff. They're, they're probably not going to care. So, yeah. I think we're we're seeing a lot of I don't want to say celebrities because that's not the word, but a lot of uh, higher profile profiles coming out of the merch community. You know, we got Yong and Glenn, and uh, I've been watching a lot of Jacob Topping. I don't know if you guys have talked to Jacob before, but that guy has such a wealth of information. I've talked to him on a uh, private chat and things like that, and, and we should actually have that guy on the show at some point because he he drops so many little nuggets that i've never even thought of and i've thought about so many different things in this business and uh like you know people like jacob are continue to to help others grow you know m this merch thing it's it's pretty crazy yeah so actually, shout out um, to jacob topping <laughs> yeah j actually i um jacob he did like a merch tour um i think last year and he was going all over. I think, and he actually was coming to he come to Texas. And he was like, he was like, "Hey, Joe, you want to? I'm going to come to." I said, like, "He's like, I'm going to come to Oklahoma." So actually, he came to my town, and me and him got to meet up for like three or four hours, and we just talked merch straight. So, and he was like a really cool guy. I met him and his wife, and yeah, we had a great great conversation just talking. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. it was fun to talk to. Oh, by the way, there's going to be a meetup uh, next. Uh, I think it's on Monday. Um, there's going to be a California meetup, so definitely check out that. I don't have any of the links or anything below. I think it's the the New Jersey guys have a California edition Facebook group, but there's going to be a meetup. If you guys want any info on that, definitely contact me. I'll let you know uh, the links to that. I'm, I apologize that I don't have it. It's going to be in Glendale, California, so I'm planning. I'm 99% sure that I will be going to that, so I'll definitely report back on that meetup. Yeah, I was, I was listening to the uh, – the merch minds podcast today well the video part they were talking about this one guy and they're like man this guy's really cool his name is thrift shop hustler and i'm like man i want to meet him one day <laughs> oh man things are things are going crazy i, I actually got confirmed for uh i'm going to be speaking at a conference for steam it in las vegas so if anyone's in las vegas oh wow um, that's awesome, awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, man. And it's like, I've never spoken. I never done any public speaking. So it's definitely out of my comfort zone, but you know, they reached out and I'm definitely going to do it. So just, you know, that just shows you, you know, I started with nothing and just like merch, we all are starting out with, you know, tier 10 or tier 25 and there's, there's hustle involved. It's not turnkey and you're, 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 you're driving a Lamborghini. There's a lot of work to all this stuff. Yeah. D uh, Detour shirt says, Glenn and Young had their last podcast the other day. Yeah, if you if you would have listened to it, I think that came out on April Fool's Day. So <laughs> if you didn't at the very beginning of their show, they're like, "All right, guys, this is our last show," and blah blah blah. And then at the very end, the very end of the show, like an hour later, they're like, "All right, you know, we're just playing April Fools." So <laughs> you guys didn't stick around for the very end, and you didn't catch what they said. But yeah, but it's funny. Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not a fan of April Fools at all. Like I'm never I've never been a prankster or a trickster or anything. So just I just, I don't I don't like April Fools. It's like you want to do business, you want to conduct business, you go on Twitter, you're looking for for valid information and you're just thrown with like 90% like just fake news, I guess you would call it like I hate I hate April Fools day. What did I do to the kids? I can't remember what it was. Oh no. It was something like our eggs were bad. Our eggs were not going to be able to do the Easter egg hunt. They they were really bad, and like we had to throw them out. <laughs> so That's like the Jimmy Kimmel thing where he steals the kids' Halloween candy or oh, whatever. Yeah, Have you yeah. seen that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, I'm not a good liar, though, so they were like, whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll oh, yeah. it looks like um nevada was telling us that you know she saw on twitter there's a active shooter at youtube headquarters so yeah, i'm yeah. watching it right now on live. oh is, is that a thing that's going on right now yeah, yeah. there's uh active yeah gunshots reported at youtube headquarters in california they're patting everybody down as they come out right now yeah weird... you're in that area and hopefully <clears throat> Hopefully, a lot of cop cars around. I wonder if it's a 
a disgruntled like YouTuber from you know how they did the demonetization. They've <laughs> yeah, nice no, I'm not, I'm not I, I mean, you know, I'm not trying to be There's funny. Really mad about it. No, you're yeah. right. If you read that, I'm, I'm watching um, my local news, they always pick these up. It's from the helicopter view on um, Facebook, and so you have the chat on the side. You know how many times that comment has come up in the past 15 minutes? Someone says, How about demonetization? Yeah, they're just angry because of demonetization. That's um, crazy. Get a lot of people that just don't have no morals in the chats and will say anything. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then the whole, I mean, they did change the rules for like you have to have so many subscribers and so many, so much watch time, blah, blah, blah. But yeah. But yeah, hopefully everybody's safe over yeah, there. Everyone's yeah. hanging out in the parking lot right now. Yeah. That's that's scary. I mean, it's pretty meta too because when you think about it, all the conspiracy theorist things are on YouTube. They're like every time there's a shooting, there's like this whole slew of like, oh, this is a conspiracy. So we'll see how this is going to be spinned because it's YouTube, and now it's at yeah, YouTube. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, it looks like one building we got surrounded right now. I'm trying to see it. YouTube. Is it in California? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's near Google headquarters. Oh, it's up north in Silicon Valley. Yeah. Gotcha. That's why I can't believe this is happening because we have all these nice gun restriction laws here. Well, here's the thing, and I'm not going to get all political with everyone. If someone wants to do harm with you, they can literally take a teddy bear and strangle you with it. So yeah. it's not about the thing, though. I feel in a way, you know, maybe, you know, having automatic weapons, that's a little too far. But what I'm saying is, if there's someone that wants to do harm with you, like look at Japan, look at Asia, there's a lot of knivings and there's a lot of that kind of stuff too. So I could kill you with my leg hairs right now. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're razor sharp. <laughs> <laughs> it's just looking at them probably do the trick. <laughs> did you did you guys see my post the other day? Um it was about greeting cards. Oh, which one of your million posts that you posted today that we were supposed yeah, to Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the other day I was I appreciate uh, all I was at I was at the Dollar Tree. Actually, I was. It was on Easter, actually, because it was so cold here. Like everybody celebrated like the day before. So, uh, but I was. I was there. I was looking at all these greeting. I was just there looking at all these greeting cards. I'm like, hey, this could be a shirt. This could be a, pretty much all these could be shirts. But right. then I just got the idea of like, if I was a, on tier ten, I'm like, if like you know, people always like, hey, shit, show me your design, show me your niche, or you know, when I was there, I was like, man, just show me what your design looks like so I could see like how to make it you know or how to make designs or how to do my layout and stuff but here it is you go to go online look on uh, greeting cards and look look at those greeting cards and you'll get ideas of layout of, of how they're placed you know how they're laid out mm -hmm. just just the layout of a greeting card is a shirt pretty much and you know look look where they put their little graphics look where they put you know how they place their fonts you know if you look on a greeting card like some of the fonts are like sideways this way or you know when when, when i first started everything was like oh i got to center everything and everything has to be centered and everything has to be here and here but if you look on those greeting cards everything's like all crazy and all over the place but yet they yeah. still sell so i mean so it, it gives you great ideas for layout i'm not saying to go and uh look at a greeting card and copy what it says don't do that i'm saying just get the ideas and you can learn there's over you know go look there you can there's like a million shirts for you to look at right there you know a million cards to look at that you can use their ideas or use their layouts um for shirts you know so yeah i agree that's an excellent pro tip and i just to, just to kind of back up just a little bit are you saying oklahoma closed easter down because it was cold <laughs> <laughs> well let's see on saturday it was like 80 and then on Sunday it was 30. So oh yeah. wow. So like my family were like, hey, it's gonna be 80. Let's let's have our dinner today. And we're like, all right, let's do it. So because everybody, we were outside, we were playing basketball. The kids got to do their Easter egg hunts, you know. We got to be outside pretty much all day. On Saturday, on Sunday, it was like, you know, coats and you know, jackets and hoodies and you know, so yeah. So yeah, we had to switch it up. Probably what was California? Yeah, probably eighty every day there, so it probably didn't even matter. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Actually, this weekend was kind of cool. Yeah, it was. What was it, seventy-five or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had, yeah, we almost closed Easter down too. 
<laughs> yeah, so. You know, I, 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 and I know you made a jab about Joe baking so many posts, but I really appreciate it. And I'm sure a lot of people, if you're new and you haven't <laughs> joined Marriage University, I'm not kidding. No, 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 like, I hear you. Up there and it's like, oh, what was the last one? You were like, what is, you'll just throw a topic up there and everybody has to add stuff to the comments. What was Actually, the last, the, the, the last one I did was like, have you at least made $100 on uh, merch? And if you look like at 99% of the comments were yes, which I think if I was a newbie, I'm like, all right, this is great, positive thing. At least people have made, at least they're making money on this thing. You just, yeah. And you I might be frustrated, but hey, people are making money and I can make money, so. And honestly, now that you, when you put it in that perspective and I'm like, oh, I didn't do so great this month. I'm looking at my number, March, like, oh, I only made $693, whatever, <laughs> right? I need to be like, no, that's really good. Yeah, that's really good, actually. My husband's I mean, like, yeah. anybody could use a hundred bucks. You know, I mean, hey, a hundred bucks extra this month. I mean, so yeah, that's a good perspective because I'm just like, oh darn, I'm, I'm not making over two hundred shirts sold this month like Jeff and Chris. I mean, I remember when we like, we started this, we were like making like less than a hundred dollars. Like, yeah, we made seventy dollars. Yeah. <laughs> go to subway i can take the family out to subway i think i remember you saying that too yeah like I, we can go to subway i made 45 dollars or something yeah. <laughs> that was my first like look at you you're saying you made 640 dollars you know now so hey yeah I mean, but now you just like in the group you'll put you'll put a topic up there and everybody has to like add oh, what was the last one that you did where we had to add topics to it it just gives you so many ideas like i think on saturday i put um i was like i'm at a goodwill today but I saw all these niches just looking around and t-shirts and I said, list, list any niche that you saw today or advertisement that you think could yeah. be a shirt. And so everybody listed whatever. So. so if you're, I mean, if you're watching this later, go, you know, join Merch University because Joe really does. I mean, of all, I would have to say of all like the people that are out there creating, you know, like helping people, Joe really does. I mean, I know he's got his Patreon, but he does a lot of oh. stuff for free and you know, even though I have a Patreon too, I would I would definitely give him props and say you should join him on Patreon. Yeah, and I <laughs> actually, you know, I mean, I could see like how some people because I I did see some people and they might have been joking. They're like, "Oh man, what's what are you doing? Are you like fishing for niches or what other people?" <laughs> That's like, are, my are, you, are you trying to are you trying to get into other people's stuff? No, I I'm actually running this group like I'm on tier ten. You know, like I'm trying to give the tier ten people all the information that I wish I had when I started. And so like any anytime you see stuff in this group and you're like, oh man, what, why is Joe doing this? It's more for the people starting out because if you just go through this whole group, you can see tons of information that yeah, is just like, out. So, you know. Brainstorming, brainstorming, brainstorming. Yeah. You know I mean? Like, oh yeah, there's all these ideas, especially when you see so many people saying they get stuck. And I can't think of anything. I can't, you know, anyway. Yeah. Well, at least one dead at YouTube. No way. They just showed oh. the body covered up. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's not good. Uh, and they cut away afterwards. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they just showed the, the body in the cafeteria outside. Ooh. So Joe, you do, and I was just messing around, but you do, the thing is engagement. And I think that's important when you have a, a, a Facebook group is definitely yeah. to keep people engaged. Cause I mean, that's the point of a group, you know, is to kind of come together and share ideas and kind of stuff like that. And then just like you guys, you know, all you guys are monitors on that page. And uh, there's a lot of posts that you guys approve that I don't see till the next day. And I'm like, oh, and then I'll like comment or whatever. And I'm like, oh, see, there's like, there's always something going on in that group. And I'm not, I'm glad that I don't always have to be the one posting stuff. So, Right. Yeah. Because so. cause there's a lot of stagnant groups. I've seen them. I've been in them. I've left mo most of them, you know, it's just, you know, that, and that's, what's great about uh, merch university is just like you said, you know, there's probably like 90% of merchers are going to be the newer ones. And, you know, we've been around for a while, but a good majority are going to be ones that haven't been around for a while. So definitely getting, see, even just something as simple as like tearing up in the process with that, a lot of people don't know about that. So. And it's mo the good, yeah, this group is, I would say, the most positive group. I very rarely, rarely ever see negative posts, usually because we catch them and delete them. But, exactly. uh, but yeah, compared to other groups, I'd say Merch Minds would be the second best. 
some of the other groups I won't mention. It's just all making a post. And I yeah. I went through that with reselling groups. I end up leaving them because I just get tired of seeing the negativity. Like, look at this shirt. It's copyrighted or trademarked. Or you can away with this. You know? Why is this one up there making money and mine aren't? So, yeah. Good yeah, job, exactly. Merch. <laughs> they actually did a frisk pat down on a dog. Oh my gosh. Check behind his ears to make sure he didn't have a gun. Uh, Michael D is asking about tax software for merch. We're not CPA, so we, we shouldn't be giving you any kind of tax advice. Just know that, you know, it's easy just to keep records and kind of do that stuff with Excel. I mean, what I do is all of the things that I purchase or plugins that I pay for come out of my PayPal and then it ties to my GoDaddy. And so I just turn that all over to my CPA and then the like form, you know, the tax form that they give you. Yeah, GoDaddy um, for ten dollars a month. They ha it's called GoDaddy Bookkeeping now. I forget yeah. what it used to be. It used to be free, and I loved it. But yeah, it, it ties to all your bank accounts, brings everything in, all your business accounts to business software, and then you can categorize everything. And then, like Margaret said, spits out a Schedule C at the end of the year, mm -hmm. and you're done. And categorize everything as business expenses. Yeah, it makes it handy. The only thing I did, I had to go fit, hunt around for the, because I you know, went to Denver this year, so that was the only other. What would be better, and I wish I'd do it, um, mint.com. They do all of it, but they're not business oriented. It's more personal finance, but it can it can interface with your business accounts. Yay. Um, and it's owned now. It got bought out by Quicken. So I don't know why they don't make it more business friendly, too, and give you a Schedule C and import. To quicken and all that. I don't know. Alexa. And it's free. I like it. It's free. <laughs> Alexa, no. order us fish sticks. What in the world? Turn it down, guys. <laughs> they're starting Alexa because they get so much video game time. And so they were turning Alexa on to start their video game time. Oh, is that how that works? She has a timer or something? Yeah, you can say, you know, set Alexa for 20 minutes. That's so scary. Why? It just that just freaks me out. Well, then it's not like mommy. How much time do I have left? Mommy, mommy, mommy. Like, what's Wasn't Alexa the one that was like laughing? They started laughing at you or something, yeah. or oh, that'd be creepy. Yeah, some reports laughing in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, in the middle of the night, you hear to start laughing. It's Alexa. <laughs> that it. would freak me out, though. Yeah, that's like a scary movie or something. I'm sure it's happening soon. So it's in the works, probably. Yeah. Probably so. So what? Uh, are there any trends that y'all are going to be heading after? Now that we're... I, mean, I guess the, the Father's Day, Mother's Day stuff is coming up pretty soon. That's probably next. Yeah, I don't trust trends. Earth Day. Earth Day. I have sold some shirts that were in that, that leaning towards that. Cinco de Mayo. Did you sell many Cinco de Mayo shirts last year? Uh, yeah. Hmm? I sold a few of those. Nothing else. Sorry. <laughs> I was totally like, I, I have a I have a printful customer that was from Canada that was asking me about uh, shipping and all this kind of stuff and going back and forth. And that, I was just kind of like so into that right now. No, I got some really good feedback on my printful, my Etsy store for some um, well, baby onesies, my $25 baby onesies. Okay, <laughs> good feedback on them. <laughs> I, I love when people get their shirts and, they, and they take pictures of them in them and then they, they put that in the feedback. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Awesome. I love that. I think there's a way to, to ask, like say, like I'd love to see, I think there's a way to, I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, 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 no, there's, there's a lot of, caveats with dealing with etsy and there's yeah there's so many cool things that you can do without being so blatantly like hey please post a photo of yourself with this with nothing on below <laughs> what? <laughs> no no that's no. That's a dirty platform there <laughs> mm -mm. 
Those are, the, those are the worst because like you, you, here's the thing is i've been doing ebay for so long that you get when you sell certain things like let's say i don't know shoes or socks or whatever and there's always that one weirdo who has a foot fetish is like could you please take a photo of your foot inside of the shoe oh my gosh <laughs> what <laughs> the ladies get those that sell shoes and stuff oh my gosh yeah i swear mm -hmm. that happens no i sell a lot of shoes oh, on there i never got anything a friend of mine said she got one that said, would you say that the insides of these smell like Fritos? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like corn chips. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, sorry, Joe, go ahead. No, I used to sell shoes, but I never got anything really crazy like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Reselling. Yep. It's a woman. I, I swear there was a, I swear there was some sort of update with merch re recently or am i just smoking crack it's a fake one that they did oh maybe that's what i'm thinking of there was a fake one i think um printful is now uh with their new app and everything they got new notifications i don't know if you guys got them um they'll send you monthly at the end of the month uh what do you call it an update of what how your store did one for each of your stores so i, I got one for e my ebay store and i got one for my etsy store and one for my website no oh i didn't notice i may have gotten it you can check the notifications tab at the top or if you get the email did we ever talk about the latest uh, merch survey that came out I never maybe that. maybe that's what i was thinking of and it was all about, let me see if, I don't know if I can find it. I, I put all the pictures on there somewhere. I seriously just questions. delete delete mine. I'm so bad. <laughs> I don't even look at that email. I hate surveys. I deleted my eBay one. That was a nasty one. They're, they're, eBay's considering doing basically FBA now. They'll warehouse the stuff for you and ship it for you. Oh, I've heard about that. Yeah. This whole survey that just came out this week was all these questions like, how much do you think it's worth? Would you do this? Would you do that? And I just got tired and because I said I'm not interested in they kept on asking me more questions. So, yeah, I'm not interested in eBay being my FBA. Oh yeah. Well, now, this one this one was more about like um are you interested in like uploading like the same design to like multiple oh, listings? Yeah. And, oh, that would be awesome. You know, that's that and so it's pretty much sounded like, hey, we're gonna be coming out with multiple listings and you know are you interested in uploading all those so you course, can yeah and then have it go to sweatshirts and long sleeves and yeah that'd be so good that would be good Evan, you think he was asking if printful and etsy was free no nope. yes free to sign up and everything there's links down below you can get 40 free listings for when you open an etsy store down below and there's some printful affiliate links down below as well. Well, this one customer's got me all confused because of the Canadian um, kind of a conversion from USD to a CAD, I think it is. So she's like, why did I pay so much for this shirt? But I'm thinking like the conversion is the rate that she's thinking of. She's thinking in terms of Canadian, where I'm talking in terms of USD. Mm. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, I'm thinking USDA. <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm thinking it's i i'm thinking about chili my mom's making chili for supper tonight Sorry. Ooh, i love chili <laughs> chili's good is it spicy or, or is it kind of mild she's making it well she's making it one alarm because the kids are going to eat it too instead of five alarm yes that's my style chili one alarm i never heard <laughs> that term before. <laughs> there's five alarm chili no we're making she's making the one alarm style i can heat it up with my own Donna MC was asking about, uh, do you have to collect sales tax for a Printful? Um, Printful will collect sales tax regardless if it's being shipped to California or North Carolina because that's where they are located. So it's kind of a gray area. I mean, if you're located in another state, I would say technically you don't have to collect sales tax because the product's not being shipped from your state. And I just answered this question for somebody else too, because 
is Printful, Printful is already collecting the sales tax for California residents and filing that themselves. And technically, you don't have to collect the sales tax. But I'm not a CPA again. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it is kind of a gray area because <clears throat> like eBay or whatever, they'll accept your reseller certificate or you collect sales tax how you feel you should. But Printful is collecting sales tax regardless if it's shipped to California or North Carolina. So if you don't collect the sales tax, they're going to charge you the sales tax. So you should collect for those two states. Here's the um, here's the questions from that survey. Y'all want to go over them real quick? Yeah. All right. The first question was, uh, how important is it to create multiple products with the same design at one time? Ooh, see, now they're going to get after uh, those Lister Pro guys. <laughs> That's what they're going to do. That's what they're asking. I think they're just wanting to make it easier. like right. more Make it more like Redbubble and uh, TeePublic. Right. What I'm saying is a lot of big corporations do this where they take third-party things and they integrate it into their own things because they, right. they obviously see that there's a need for it. Yeah. yeah. Well. All right. Uh, how likely would you create multiple products with the same design at one time if you had to upload different artwork sizes per product? Yeah. How would you likely? How likely would you be to create multiple products with the same design at one time? That's kind of like the same thing, I guess. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, when creating multiple products with the same design at one time, uh, would you expect to happen when completed? What would you expect to happen when completed product details? I would fill in the unique details for each product. I would, or I would fill in the details once, um, which would apply to all products. Ooh, yeah, once for all products. Yeah, once for all products. Yeah, one, what I use, yeah. In the little field, just tell Amazon do what do what Redbubble does, and that's do what it. you would say. Redbubble. All right, here. I think this is the last one. Just when creating multiple products with the same design at one time, how would you? Prefer to be contacted about the status of newly created products. One e one email when the product first product goes live. Email when the last product is live. Individual emails when each product is live. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. So pretty much, hey, multiple products make it easier to yeah, like Teespring. You know, list one design and you can pick all these products to put it on. I like that. Mm -hmm. Simple. Yeah. It oh, takes they're going after Merch Lister Pro. You heard it here first. <laughs> no, Merch Lister Pro Merch is Pro doesn't do that. Yeah, Merch but they're, asking, is... they're they're going down that road. That's very obvious yeah, in that. I mean that's that's the thing that Merch that's the problem Merch Lister Pro. Oh yeah, I guess so, yeah. Because Merch you Lister Pro doesn't do internet uploading. It just fills in your your text. Yeah, but this one, yeah, they're asking, you know, hey. If you just list and fill out one product and push all these to go, I mean, exactly. Yeah, because Merch Lister yeah. Pro, you do it one at a time. But here, hey, you know, I got you. I mean, I could still see that it would be useful because with Merch Lister Pro, let's say I have a series of shirts that are United States. So then I would just have to change the name of the state and everything else just like populates, you know, or the color of the, the you know, when one of them it's a dark on a light and the other's a light on a dark. So it's still. Be helpful in that scenario you know what i mean yeah so there it, to me it seems like they are thinking about being able to push multiple long sleeves hoodies and all that at once instead they of should, having to do yeah. individual listings yeah it makes sense they should have done that a long time ago yeah so yeah because yeah. uh, merch list pro exactly i mean i'll use the key but i'll have to go through each one and upload standard premium you know long sleeve sweatshirt yeah, see so what's gonna just, happen Here's what's going to happen. And here, here, Amazon, I know you watch our show. I've been told you watch our show. So <laughs> there's that. Anyways, what you do is just have the checkbox for everything. You upload your image and there's a checkbox, long sleeve shirt, da, da, da. And then there's going to be a separate uploading box for the hoodie. So there's two images, one for the rest, one for the hoodie. You check the box. You fill out the information. Boom. It all goes at once. There you go. Thank you. I want my check in the mail. Nah, I think they should do it like T Public, where you put the one image and then you can adjust that scale that one image to any of the products that too there i don't want to i don't want two images uploaded better even better jet right right jack uh jeff a check too 
Us while, while you're at it, why don't you just buy out Redbubble <laughs> and integrate <laughs> all of their products? Mm. Oh, you know what I like? One thing about the Teespring I like is where you can go in and if you want to just do a text-based shirt, you can just do it right on their site and you can push upload and then it's done. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's oh, awesome. Oh, I love that. For if I ever get bored and I just want to do that, I do that a bunch of times. So, yeah. so we need to integrate that into merch too. So, yeah, there's tons of stuff. So if That will happen by the end of the year. You will see that. I think so. It's coming out. So Yeah. You're not even wearing your foil today. No, I guess it's not a foil thing. It's a uh, a crystal ball thing. Right. It's the tea leaves. I'm reading the tea leaves. <laughs> the tea leaves. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's, here's a, I don't know for you know how you people make designs or or they're in beta. You know if this is beta or whatever. But like, does that cause to the systems to slow down? And do you think that's probably what's going on here? They're trying to put in all this information of how to change this. Say they are changing it to where you can list them all at once. Would that cause the system to slow down? They might cut people's listings down. That's how you alleviate that problem. So a set of 20 listings a day, they cut you down to 10, and that basically solves that problem right there. So just have more servers and more routers. Well, that would be the smart way to do it. We're talking about Amazon here. They'd rather just cut you back. Shh, they watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> All good. They're gonna take us to Mars. But what about? Oh, never mind. That's political that's, stuff. That's, Amazon's having a lot of a uh, political headbutting with the the president right now. So I don't know if that's. Yeah, it's because they don't pay their taxes and they cheat the post office. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, American yesteryear is Merch Talk going to settle into a regular schedule? <laughs> <laughs> It's totally my fault. I take a blame. I take all the blame. So <laughs> eventually, maybe. <laughs> eventually, maybe. Well, because I'm moving and we're packing and like I'm started homeschooling. So it'd be really cool if we could figure out a good new time. So and, you can Austin, things will calm down. Yeah, in when the, I move, it'll, it'll get calmer. I would say in a perfect world. You know, sure. sure. Yes, but we live in an imperfect world where everyone's got something going on. There's four of us here. No, yeah. it's never going to get on a regular schedule. We try. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> we aim for Wednesday at noon. Yes. And then I will message the guys generally and say, oh, my gosh, I can't do it. I feel like I'm going to puke. <laughs> <laughs> and then say sorry. Morning sickness. No. Uh oh. Mm -mm, that's no rumors. You heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Yeah, just because we're moving and we started homeschooling and things just. Yeah, yeah life's crazy. Just sit here, 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 blah, blah, blah. here's what's going on. Let me break it down. It's, it's exciting not to know when it's going to come on, right? You never know when it's going to come on, so it's exciting. If you had a set schedule, there's no fun in that. It's like pump up the volume. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was Christian Slater, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my. He was like the high school heartthrob back in the day when I was, you know, he was gleaming, the bad boy. Gleaming the cube. That's all I'm going to say. Gleaming the cube. Have you ever seen that one? Oh, yeah. He was oh, yeah. In that one. Right? That was the skater one. Old. Yeah. Come on. Feathers. What not? Okay. Jeff, I mean, um, Chris is gone. Not Chris. I can't even think, y'all. Joe. What's his face? Joe left? You didn't notice. Yeah. I did it. I'm like multitasking right now. I never multitask, too, when I do these shows. I dedicate my time to you and the viewers, but I had so much going on today. I was multitasking. I totally I'm watching the YouTube stream. All right. I guess we should call woman. Is it? The, the uh, two reports I've seen, seen say it was a woman shooter. Wow, that's unusual. Ten shots into somebody. Jeez. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's really a crime of passion. If it's yeah, a, I was just going to say love triangle. That's um, Yeah, we'll find out. That's scary. So, okay. All right. 
You can find us at the links below. I feel like a rabbi. Click them. Yep. <laughs> oh, we're a mess today. I, I made it. We did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. It was all you. What I was gonna, I was like pulling the plug. You guys are gonna have to do this without me. I can't do it. Yeah. We're glad you came and we're glad that you. It's uh, not a show without a female. Put your wig on. Oh, God. Not the same. Not the same. Definitely not the same. A hundred thousand percent not the same. Without you, it's a sausage fest. And... <laughs> How do you guys know? I mean, you just assume. Anyway. You're the fear, you're the fearless leader of you're this scum, no. ragtag group of bandits. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, heaven help us all then. <laughs> we gotta go play with my week, and I hope your shirt sales go really awesome. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thanks, guys. Bye.